Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to episode 12 of the Thailand travel series. So in this one we bring you along our scuba diving adventures in Koh Tao. It's got the fish, the sea, amazing food and brother sister banter like Matthew really opens up in this video. So as usual I hope you guys enjoy watching and we will dive straight into the video. Good morning guys and welcome back to my channel, welcome to today's video. We had quite an early start, we set our alarms at 6am but basically we're getting a pair no, we're not going up here. Like, I am not awake. We are getting a boat, a ferry speedboat thing, I'm not really too sure, from Koh Samui, which is where we are right now, to Koh Tao, which is an island just a bit north of Koh Samui. You have Koh Phangan in the middle. I still can't say that properly. But our ferry or our boat thing is at 8 a.m. And yeah, we need to be there, they said, about half an hour before, but that's not gonna happen because it's 7.25 and Matthew is down at the breakfast bar drinking loads of juice like i don't know what he's doing i've sent him a message everything is like packed up and ready to go but like i'm just waiting for matthew to come hopefully it's gonna take about 10 minutes to get there but there might be traffic i don't know i just need matthew to come back like he's just drinking so much juice down there and i don't understand what he's doing anyway i just went down and got some fruit for not really breakfast but just something this morning because i didn't have much time to have anything else well i could have at this point i could have had a full-on five course meal by the time matthew's had his juice and everything yeah so this ferry left at 8 a.m and we left at like 20 minutes to 8 it was a miracle that we actually made this ferry i don't know how that happened because it usually takes half an hour to get there and the roads were soaking wet because of all the rain so yeah it was quite a stressful journey but we made it to kotel I still have a pink sticker on. This is from the ferry. That was literally the most stressful journey ever. Like, we left it way too late to get to the ferry terminal from Lob D. It was so rushed. Like, when Matthew was getting juice, well, I thought Matthew was getting juice, he was talking to this guy who started to have a conversation with him. I saw Matthew sprinting to the room. It was honestly hilarious. But then we had to get a taxi from Love D. It cost us like 500 baht between us. We just had to apologize and we were like, we're in a rush, we need to get this ferry, please can you drive as fast as possible? So he like did his best and I was on the phone to the ferry people like, oh my gosh, can the boat please wait like five minutes or something? But obviously that's not gonna happen. Like you can't make a boat wait for two people. So I was just on this phone. The driver was trying to speak to the ferry terminal people to be like, please just wait, we're on our way. But yeah, we turned up, we had to get the tickets for the ferry. I booked it, but we had to like get the actual physical ticket. And it cost us 600 baht each to get like the catamaran, I think the boat is. Catamaran, some fast boat thing. To Koh Tao, which goes to Koh Phangan on the way, which I think is pronounced Ko. Fiang, Ko Pan Yang, Ko Pan Yang. I was thinking about this on the journey here. But anyway, we then, yeah, went on the ferry. It took about like an hour and a half. We arrived at like 9.45. We had to pay a 20 baht entrance fee at Ko Tao at the pier. It's been raining the whole time just to, you know, make the whole situation slightly more difficult. And now we have finally arrived at where we're staying because we have come to Kotao essentially to do diving, scuba diving. That's the update. Very stressful. I was trying to edit on the ferry, but it was quite like a bumpy ride. I ended up with this headache. Felt a bit like uneasy, but it was fine. It was not awful. Could have been a lot worse. We could have missed it and had to wait for the 2.30 p.m. boat because there were only two that run per day. That would have been like a nightmare. This is our room. I'll give you a quick tour it is a twin room as you can see we have two beds out here it's so green i honestly love it but like this is the fisherman resort down there is the beach the swimming pool and the dive center our room as i said is in here hot drink making station fridge this kind of like safe and then the place to hang your clothes, sink, a little mirror, and then this is the ensuite shower thing. So all the essentials. I'm not sure if we're starting diving today or tomorrow, but I will just let you guys know when we know more ourselves, essentially. So we didn't end up diving on this first day, but instead I was doing some refresher lessons and just brushing up on my scuba diving theory. Does that make sense? Because if you think about it, right, I'm going from air pressure, which is a lot less, to, to water pressure. So the greatest pressure difference has to be in the shallowest depth. 
and this was organized very last minute but we were very kindly invited to dive with La Bombona Diving on Kutal and even though Matthew looks very bored in this theory lesson we had the best experience I'm gonna say straight away and so yeah after that we essentially just had some food because we hadn't had that much for breakfast. Matthew has definitely loved his french toast whilst we've been here and I just got the porridge, the banana and pineapple porridge which was so good and I actually tried an iced green tea before we were waiting to get our diving medical checks done. Right, so we had our diving health check thing that we just wanted to get for peace of mind. We paid like 200 baht to basically have someone take our blood pressure and listen to our lungs and everything um and then i just had like my refresher thing which matthew sat in on and listened to like theory stuff just going over everything because i was just worried that i'd forgotten everything i haven't done any scuba diving since australia which was like 2020 in february so it's been a long time i am basically i haven't said i'm doing my advanced course which is so cool like i wanted to do this in australia if you followed those vlogs but i couldn't do it because nobody else signed up to the course at julian rocks at byron bay so i'm doing my advanced and that involves like five dives over two days it's gonna be so fun and i'm actually so excited now that we've done the theory and it's all coming back to me i'm like yes matthew's also doing two days of trial dives because we don't have enough time for him to fit in his open water. It would need like three days, but we're flying on Sunday and you can't dive within like 24 hours of flying. So that's kind of what we're doing. Right now we're gonna walk and get some food. Hopefully at this place called Big Bite, which I looked up and it looks very nice. I was just about to start filming, you know, a classic montage of getting food at that place, but it's closed. So we're gonna go there another day. Matthew's been obsessed with French toast. I've been obsessed with spring rolls. Oh my gosh, they are just so good and I cannot get enough of them. And then later on that evening, we just chilled on the beach. We went in the sea and yeah, we just basically were there until it went really, really dark in the evening. Day one of diving tomorrow. I am so excited. Matthew, are you excited? Mm. Diving. I'm so excited! On Friday morning then, we went to Big Bite, which was the cafe we tried to go to the day before. And it's literally right outside the Fisherman Resort where we were staying. It had a really big menu with some really good vegan options. But for my breakfast, I just got that chocolate smoothie bowl and oh, it was literally everything I wanted. A bit later that morning then we went to get ready to go scuba diving and I just had to have my dive briefings. I have three dives today but I'm doing two like this afternoon. It's currently like coming up to 12. I'm doing my buoyancy dive and my navigation dive. This is my mask from Australia. This is my dive computer and this is my compass. Matthew is ready to do his tri dives. Byron is somewhere around. Byron is taking me out and doing my advanced. Hi to the vlog. This is Byron who's Brian. taking me out. Brian. It's Brian. Why am I saying Byron? <laughs> I'm so sorry, Brian. Byron, oh my God, you guys. Like what? That's just me humiliating myself on camera in front of other people as well. But you know what, it's all right. It's fine. Brian owns LBD and is like taking me out. So, yeah, it's also chucking it down with rain, as you can hear. So my first dive as part of my advanced course was a buoyancy workshop. And it's safe to say that my buoyancy was not great during this first dive. Like I could not swim through this square hoop to save my life. I mean, I had to do a lot of skills and I eventually got there, but it took me a few times to, you know, perfect each skill. It was really cool though to see Matthew on his first ever dive. And he said that it took him a while to work out how to use the fins. And you can kind of see him here struggling. Like, I don't know what he's really trying to do here, but he said he had a great dive. Ever since my trip in Australia, Matthew has shown an interest in scuba diving. And so it was really fun to like share this experience with him under the water, even though it took him ages to realize I was actually there behind him. Okay. 
Okay, so my second dive was a navigation dive. So I had to perform a few skills again, and then we just explored the reef. So again, we saw so many fish. We saw a stingray, which is right at the bottom there. And these fish, by the way, are my favorite types of fish. I honestly think they're so cool. I felt good. Like it was coming back to me. Everything did come back to me pretty quickly. We got back at like 4.30, no, four. So we just had food now. Honestly, diving makes you so hungry. And I have a night dive at six, so in about like half an hour. That should be good. There are loads of mosquitoes, I'm so sorry. Matthew really enjoyed it, and I think he would like to do his open water now. Let me see what he says. Was it good? Out of 10? I mean, the, this? Yes, yeah, see, Matthew loved it, right? Even if he doesn't say he loved it, this means he loved it it stopped raining as well which is so good but you didn't realize when you were underwater like when it stopped i had to navigate the second dive and i wasn't very good at that i had to draw a map of the reef and basically try and like navigate around it and i was really confused because i can't even navigate on land so underwater i had no chance but I managed to do like the reciprocal heading and the square like really well which were like two compulsory things for my advanced course as nice as this pool is and how like greeny blue it looks it's incredibly cold right now so i am just like not gonna go in oops so with night diving hence the name you dive during the night or when it's dark so i didn't bring my gopro because you literally wouldn't have been able to see anything but i will show you guys where we went and got dinner it was just along the road from the fisherman resort it was this japanese place and i had this tofu rice bowl with mushrooms the yellow stuff on the side is then this radish thing i don't really know what it was but it tasted very very nice do you want to say anything about your diving? No. No? How many did you do? Two. And what did you see? Uh, monkeys. <laughs> You're so annoying. I need to get a really early night because my dives tomorrow, I have two in the morning and they start at 6.45. Well, I have to be ready to leave on the boat at 6.45. It's very early. Matthew's diving in the afternoon, thank goodness, because Matthew and mornings just don't go well i have my deep dive which is a compulsory dive as part of my course and i have a second like elective dive is what they call them you kind of have a choice of like 10 dives or something and i've done the night dive is one of them this evening oh i haven't told you guys about that that was so good my night dive i did one in australia when i did the liverboard but i don't know i just didn't really enjoy that one because it was my first time doing a night dive and I was really worried. I was still very new to diving. And I mean, I haven't done a lot of diving. I'm still very inexperienced is what I'm trying to say. But in Australia, I was very scared on that night dive. You can't see anything except where you're like pointing your torch. I was kind of a bit apprehensive going into this night dive, but it was so good, like so chilled. We went out when it was still kind of light. And then we came up obviously and it was pitch black we were looking for the turtle that apparently sleeps in this one spot but we didn't see it i came to the surface at one point without me even realizing because we were really shallow like <laughs> two meters and i was just like at the surface like what even am i doing here so i had to go back down again like descend and it was fine we did like a 64 minute dive which is such a long dive the key is to relax what are you doing <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing he's not even drunk this time um but yeah the key is to relax and keep breathing that's the number one rule of diving if you overthink it like then you won't enjoy it you and have a problem yes Matthew, exactly um but yeah Matthew is chugging cereal right now i have to do my explorer 30 theory i was making notes yesterday and reading my document um, yeah, I have to take an exam. <laughs> oh, there was another thing I was going to say. This is the only place we've been in Thailand where we've been bitten by mosquitoes. Right? We haven't been bitten anywhere else. Not really. I had to use the afterbite stick because they're so itchy. Like, and you see them on your leg just like going for you. It's not great at all. Matthew is always complaining at me that I walk around the room in flip-flops. But that is because otherwise my feet feel really grissy and I don't like that after I've had a shower and I'm clean. Matthew just walks out on this towel. This is a clean bath towel and he steps on it with dirty feet. Like, what is that? I just walk around in the flip-flops. I can't not. And we live together, so we have to put up with each other. This is what I live with. Absolutely amazing. 
What are you doing? Leave my cornflakes alone. <laughs> Do you want to say what your name is? Matthew's name backwards. Matthew's name backwards is Wetam. So we've been calling him, well, we, I say I, Wetam. Wetam. I'd actually be happy if everyone, like mum and that, called me Wetam. Right, okay, yeah. so that's gonna be the name. Yeah, you can call it. I'd rather than Tink call it than Dad's name. Matthew's nickname at home is Tink Tonk. Wet ham. Wet ham. can't open his wet milk. Yeah, they don't normally come like this. I've had to live with wet ham for a month. We actually had a deep conversation in the sea yesterday. We had a very deep conversation. Yeah, it was deep and we were in very shallow water. Where's my chorus? I need to do my chorus. Your iced cup. <laughs> so what? Your milk is icy. Matthew tried my smoothie bowl this morning, by the way, and he's actually gonna go and get it tomorrow morning because he liked it that much. I'm getting them on smoothie bowls. Yes, again. Wet ham is asleep. <laughs> What's he washing this time? Mm. <laughs> is it the office? Mm. <laughs> Matthew, I need to go to bed. I'm going to bed, you guys. Bye. It's currently just coming up to 6.45 and we are awake and we are ready to go. This is my half suit that I wear and it was wet this morning. It didn't dry properly, so it was not fun getting this thing on. We have the dry bag. We also have the stuff that doesn't need to be dry. And yeah, I literally need to go right now. I'm not gonna lie, this was the dive I was most apprehensive about. It was my deep dive and we also saw a wreck when we were down there. So I had to reach a depth of 30 meters. I have never been that deep before and I had to basically experience or see if I experienced the effects of nitrogen narcosis. So your reaction times are normally slowed and mine were definitely slowed. I did some numerical problems under the water. There are some other symptoms as well, like you might feel a bit giggly, but after after I did that, we came up so we were a bit shallower and then we just explored the wreck. If I remember correctly, this ship had been used in World War II, however, it had been very recently sunk on purpose and so it now serves as an artificial reef site and there was so much life under there, like so many fish, including myself, just having a great time swimming around. because we'd done a deep dive before this we had to wait for about an hour on the surface so that we could actually go diving for longer than like 10 minutes to wait for the nitrogen to leave your system and my final dive as part of my course was a search and discovery dive so i was using a metal detector to try and find forks that brian had hid in the sand and it's again safe to say that i was not amazing at this i had to find five forks and i found one out of five so yeah after a while of me just crawling along the sand and by the way brian and did collect the four other forks that I couldn't find. We just explored the dive site and yeah, I thoroughly enjoyed my final dive. I am not even joking, one of the hottest things about scuba diving is getting out of the water with the tank on which is so heavy, but anyway after my wonderful final dive I had to take a wonderful scuba diving theory exam so I could actually get my qualification. I just passed my exam! <laughs> it was multiple choice, 15 questions, I got them all right. And I'm done! Yay! I'm an explorer 30 diver, an advanced diver. Go me! You guys, it's literally just been like two minutes, but I am officially a certified Explorer 30 advanced diver. I don't really know what the proper way to say it is, but Brian sorted it out. I have my like e-card, my certificate. I have my Explorer 30. Oh my God, I'm so happy. I'm so good. We're gonna rep the t-shirt, La Bombona Diving. We love that. Brian runs this with his wife and they are just so, so nice. They're both so experienced in diving. Brian's wife also gave me these plums. So I'm gonna have one now because I very much fancy a plum. 
washing it with bottled water, obviously. Mmm. Oh, wow. This is pineapple fried rice. I haven't yet had this yet. Celebratory lunch. Taste test. Mmm. Wow, that is so good. This is another dish I need to recreate when I'm back home. But anyway, after that, I decided to go to the beach. However, let me tell you, the rain in Thailand, when it comes, it literally comes. <laughs> Honestly, I was just trying to play around and get some RC shots, but instead you get this camera angle because the rain came and my camera got soaking wet, I got soaking wet, but it literally rained for 10 minutes and then it was like nothing ever happened. This weather in Thailand honestly is crazy, it blows my mind. I'm gonna go in the sea one final time. I think this is the last time I'm gonna be in the sea in Thailand. I've just been chilling with this dog here, it's so cute. Um, it's really like shy and timid, but anyway, let's get in the sea. Caught out in the rain for the second time. I was like in the sea. This weather here in Thailand is so unpredictable. I think it's still gonna rain on and off for the rest of the day. Tomorrow we leave here. We have to basically make our way back to Bangkok for like the end of our trip. Well, we have like 24 hours in Bangkok and then we fly home. It's honestly gone way too fast. One month in Thailand, I personally think is enough time, but like I would have loved to have stayed here for longer. Like it's such a cool place. Didn't even get to see all the places I wanted to see, but anyway, I'm not gonna talk about that yet because we haven't quite finished the trip. I'm sweet home. And sorry, Matthew, I'm walking in the room in flip flops because yeah, you're not here, so I can walk around all I want and he won't ever know. Unless he watches this video, but he chooses to watch some of my videos. Occasionally he'll be like, Holly, I watched that vlog, and I'm like, oh, shock horror, you don't normally watch my videos. Now I can confirm on Matthew's behalf that he loved his two final dives. He was incredibly happy that evening. We went and got dinner, we tried this place that was just a bit along the beach from the Fisherman Resort, and yeah, we just had some food, enjoyed our final night on Koh Tao, and we just talked about everything we'd seen under the water that day. Yummy. Oh, I'm so excited. Mango sticky dice. I got it to take away just because I wanted it like a bit later. I need to make the most of the mango sticky rice while I'm here. <gasps> Look. There is my sticky rice. This is the mango, obviously. We'll put over the coconut milk. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. But yeah, we're basically traveling tomorrow. It's like a big travel day. I might make a reel on Instagram. I'm not too sure. And hopefully mango steam. But anyway um oh that hip click diving in summary i've loved it i've missed it so much i am now an advanced diver as we know so i'm very happy with that but i still do need a lot of experience like my buoyancy is still not amazing i clearly can't find forks in the sand i was awful at that matthew saw a turtle and a black tip shark was it? I'm a bit like disheartened that I didn't get to see that. But I saw a ton of fish. It's fine. I love diving. As I said, you should definitely try diving. This is like a family run business. La Bombona diving. It's very close knit, but it's so great. Loads of people come here. Anyway, I'm going to leave you guys. Love you and leave you to eat my mango sticky rice. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Comment down below. Subscribe if you're new. The usuals. Hit the bell so you know when I upload. And as always... I'll speak to you very soon in another video. Bye! That was oh. so bad to cover the vlog. <laughs> Sorry. Brian, 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 get in your head, Ollie. Matthew, 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 get it off. Matthew, get it off. Two dives down, you guys. I did my buoyancy workshop. Oh my gosh, it's fogging up. What? Not very enthusiastic, but trust me, he loved it. Mom said you couldn't stop talking about it on the phone. Did you just make a noise? Did you, just, did you listen? Are you. Don't worry. Oh my god, I'm itchy all over my legs. Ah, <sighs> oh, why can't I find what I'm looking for? Oh my god, this camera lens is gonna be the thing that makes me late. Do you see how much is steaming up? I'm not even doing anything. I'm like having to wipe you down. It literally can't deal with the humidity. Oh my god. Stop steaming up, you stupid thing.
Oh, I give up with this camera. I actually give up. Yeah! Oh god, it's just steamed up again. It's so good. Mm-hmm.